Let me know if anything's up with your body, anything you want me to touch upon. Today's class is going to focus on the sense of uh, this idea of alertness, of being kind of awake and alert. Um, and we are going to use our eyes. We're also going to do some thoracic mobility and shoulder work today um, to open up this area of our body and bring awareness here. And then a little bit of breath work before we get to the ground. So we do need a few things if we just hopped on. We're going to need the, our balls again. So either pinky ball, tennis ball, you know, any any type of, of, of small ball will work. So we're going to do a little eye hand coordination and also some grip strength today. And then a pen or a pencil, please. Um, it's nice to have an external target. You can use your thumb, but it's great if you have an external target. All right. Hi, Yana. Okay, so we start seated. Find your seat. Uh, and then when we're in our seat, we want to make sure, I'll make sure I spot my, myself. Hold on. Um, you want to have in a seat that's not too, um, it's not going to be too soft and make you sit back in your chair. We want to sit up in the front of our chair. Feet are grounded, okay? And so the knees are either a little lower than the hips um, or at 90 is fine. And then just feel the feet on the ground, spread your toes, get up nice and tall. See, could I be nice and tall? And then could we be kind of tall and be relaxed at the same time? So can I sit up tall and be relaxed? And then close your eyes and just kind of see if you can feel that. So feel the body in space. Feel that there's weight on your pelvis. There's weight against the chair. Allow yourself to sit. So allow yourself to feel weight. What does that feel like to find gravity, right? To find solidity. And then feel the sense of length upward through the crown of the head. And so the sense of an internal length, right? Our spine, it's not, we wanna make sure we don't pop the chest forward or the shoulders lift up. It's, it's a spinal lengthening. And then just check in with your body for a moment. So feel, kind of sense the space around your body, and the space that you are in, that you're taking up. And when we sense this idea of space, we might notice you know, the temperature of the actual air. Is it cool? Is it warm? And then we might notice the kind of this outline or shape of the outsides, you know, the line of our, of our body. We kind of see that in our mind's eye, the, the outline of our body as we sit here. And just as you become aware of your body in space, Bring your awareness to your breath. Can you find your breath? Where is it in the body? Is it in the belly? Is it in the chest? And oftentimes when we start to bring our awareness, we notice you know, areas of tension. Can you notice areas you're holding? And uh, just with your intention and your breath, could you just soften, intentionally feel like, is there any areas that I could just soften a little bit? Maybe it's a little, a little this idea of softening in the shoulders or melting there, or the neck, or the back. This idea of just letting it go just a little bit. And we're dropping into the body. And then we're gonna open the eyes. And when you open the eyes, you're gonna open the eyes big and lift your eyebrows. So the eyes lift, eyebrows lift. And then you're gonna scrunch your eyes. And you're gonna lift your eyes, lift the eyebrows, and scrunch your eyes. I'm gonna do this a couple more times. Lift, big eyes, and then close the eyes, squint. And big eyes, and squint. And big eyes and squint the eyes or close the eyes and squeeze the eyes. And then one more time, big eyes, and then relax the eyes. Kind of feel how that gives you a little sense of, I'm a little bit awake. And then now can we, can you give me a big smile? <laughs> That's a huge smile, show me your teeth. Can you lift your cheekbones? So we're, what are we doing? We're stimulating the nerves in our face. It's very important. So big smile, and then make it like you've tasted something sour. Mm -hmm. And then big smile. And maybe we now add those eyebrows. Can we lift the eyebrows and smile big? Can you feel your face lift? How about the left cheek? How about the right cheek? And then taste, and then you taste something very sour, scrunch your face, scrunch your mouth. Just one more time, lift eyebrows, lift the face, cheekbones lift, huge smile. 
I know it's strange and it's so good. And then scrunch the face. And then relax the face. Great. Bring your pen or pencil. We're going to do a little bit of work for our eyes. Our eyes are so important to how our body functions, how it moves, how we uh, feel this idea of, again of awake, awakeness, alertness. A lot of times our eyes get super tired, especially these days with just being constantly kind of stressed and also on screens more, right? Our eyes get tight. That affects how we move. Okay. So we're going to do some eye work. Now, when we do eye work, you're going to monitor yourself. If anybody feels like a little bit kind of dizzy or even a little nauseous because our eyes affect the system as well, you just pause. We're just going to do a few in a different positions, but you take care of you. Okay. And just be aware because that tells us, oh, I might need to do a little more work there, but slowly. All right. So we're going to do something called a pencil push up. You're going to go easy. We're going to bring the pencil or pen right in front of the bridge of our nose. If you're standing, just be aware that, um, you know, be a wide stance maybe so that you have a little more space. There you go. So you feel balanced. Now draw the pen. You're going to really focus on your pencil or your pen, and you're going to bring it all the way to the bridge of the nose. Look, it might, your eyes might double or go blurry, blurry. Just make sure to breathe. And then you're going to go back out. Let's add a breath. So inhale, follow the pen in to the bridge of the nose. Exhale, take it back out. One more time. That's it. Inhale, bring it in. Hopefully you can feel those eyes moving in. Exhale, take it back out. Good. Rest. Notice if that was challenging. We only did three. You want to work our way up a little bit to that. So place your pen to the side. We're going to move our eyes from one object to the next. Okay. We're going to take your thumbs on either side of your temples. Not too wide. Head doesn't go with you. If it feels like you have to really strain, bring your thumbs in. So let's all bring our thumbs in a little bit, just to start a little more narrow, because it's actually a little more challenging than we realize. We're going to keep the head where it is, and I'm going to move my eyes to my right thumb, and then my left thumb, and I'm seeing my thumb. I'm going to move my eyes to my right, and my left, and right, and left. Make sure you're breathing. Can I focus my eyes? One to the next, couple more. Stay relaxed, I know. One more time, right? One more time, left, relax. It's called a saccade or saccade, the ability to move our eyes from one point to the X. We're gonna do one more and then we're done with our eyes today. So we're gonna bring our hands forward. So it's not a big distance, just a small distance. Um, a little bit above the eyebrow and, and then kind of in alignment with your sternum, okay? Again, head stays long, body stays easy. Now our eyes get what they get to do. They get to move up to the up thumb and then down to your lower thumb. And look up and look down. Look up, look down. Now when you look, you're seeing. You're not just moving, you're seeing as you change your eyes. That's really important. See what you're looking at as you switch your eyes from point to point. One more up, one more down and rest. And just make a note for yourself. Was this harder or was this harder? Just note. Okay, take your hands to the back of your neck. Give me some nice massage on the back of the occiput. Get in there, press in a little bit. Massage, there's these two bones here in the back of your skull. Can you feel them? And give them a little massage here. And then let's stroke from the back of the neck down towards the the collarbones like this. Yep. Good. Nice stroking down through the neck, down to the collarbones. Just two more like that. Okay. Take your fingers into your skull like combs. I'm going to go into my skull and I'm kind of going to hook my hands into my head. And I want to see if I can move the skin of my head. I know it sounds really weird. It's a little bit of strange stuff. But this is going to be super nice to release tension in the head and the neck and the shoulders. So see if you can move your skull. Can I move it forward and back? Can I move it side to side? One more time. Okay. And then release that. Shake the hands a little bit. Give me a fist. Squeeze your hands. And then release. Squeeze like you're going to grab and hold on to something you're not going to let go. And then release and grab, release, grab, release. Two more times, grab, release, grab, release, and then grab your ball, 
We're gonna just do the right hand first. And hopefully the ball is about fits into your palm of your hand. If it's too, if it's big, it's gonna be a little harder, but that's okay too. And all you're gonna do is we're just gonna, so I'm gonna wrap my hand around my ball as much as I can. I'm gonna keep my wrist from bending right now. So the wrist is neutral. It's a neutral stand, a neutral wrist. And I'm just gonna squeeze the ball with my hand. Let's squeeze in for three. Let's go one, squeeze two, squeeze three, release. Good, let's do it again. Go one, go two, go three, release. And again, squeeze one, squeeze two, squeeze three, release. Last one, squeeze one, squeeze two, squeeze three, release. Woo, shake the hand out. Press that same hand forward. So I wanna see the palm of the hand. Now this is gonna be a little nerve stretch, okay? So we're gonna press the arm forward to start. Can you take your collarbone and draw it back? And then take your collarbone and bring it forward. So collarbone comes back, collarbone comes forward. Another way to think about this is your shoulder blade goes back, shoulder blade goes forward. Shoulder blade goes back, shoulder blade goes forward. Now take your shoulder blade slightly back, bend at your elbow, bring your fingertips towards your shoulder. This is a nerve stretch. It might be intense. We're gonna go into it. When you feel the nerve stretch in the palm of your hand, maybe down the elbow, feel it, come out of it a little bit. You got it, good. And then can we take our head and tip it the other way? Woo! Can we get a little bit more of a stretch there? Yes? And come back up, bring the arm forward, bring it down, shake it up. Okay, take the other, the hand, the ball on the other hand. So wrapping that ball, and wrapping the ball with your hand, neutral wrist, it's a three squeeze and then a release. So we're gonna squeeze into the ball. We're gonna go one, two, three, release. Notice if the grip is different than the other side, okay? And then go again. Grip, one, two, three, and release. And again, squeeze one, two, three, and release. Is the side weaker, stronger than the other side? One more time, squeeze one, squeeze two, squeeze three and release good release the ball press the hand forward my arm is long my elbow is locked out so let's think about collarbone first it's nice to feel the collarbone here so call i'm going to push forward the collarbone goes back i slide back the collarbone comes up into my hand so as i push forward the collarbone kind of goes away from my hand as i pull my shoulder blade back the collarbone kind of comes into my hand This, this little part of the collarbone that meets the sternum. It should be a little more specific, yeah. Because the upper part does something else. So it's this part of your collarbone that is attached to your sternum. And now you can think shoulder blade. Shoulder blade slides in, shoulder blade goes wide. Feel how the shoulder has to work a little bit. Move that shoulder blade. One more time. Draw the shoulder blade back, bend at the elbow. Feel the different, feel this, you know, if it's already strong, you might not, you can go very small to open. Start to open the elbow out, get tall through your spine. If you're in, once you get, find that kind of more of a nerve pull, you're going to come out of it a little bit, and then you're going to tip your head the other way. Come on up, bring the arm forward, bring the arm down. Very, very nice. Let's do a little bit of head glides. Very important is our head. So we're gonna think of our throat and the back of our neck is gonna glide forward. So from your throat, glide the head forward. And from your throat, draw the head back, 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 back. Draw the, throat, the head forward and from that throat and then draw the head way back. And the head lengthens up to the sky, the base of the skull. Let me see, slide forward. Can we slide it forward like we were sliding on a little shelf? And then can we slide the head back? Last one, slide forward. And then slide the head back. Keep it way back here. Keep your head back. Can I see that head retraction? Can I see wide across the shoulders? There you go, Carrie, beautiful. And then keep that. Now I'm gonna tilt my, I'm gonna pour water out my um, left ear. And then up. Can we keep our arms relaxed? Can I pour water out my right ear? 
and back up. Slide head back, make sure it stays there. Tilt, head tilt, super challenging, super important. Come back up for our hands, for our arms. Come back up. Last one. Tilt. There we go. Come back up. And tilt. And back up. Rest. Hands on your sternum. I'll go a little side. I want my sternum to slide. I'm going to sink my hands into my chest. And there's a little round. My back goes round. And then I push my chest forward into my hands. Sink, sink the fingers into your chest. Ribs go back. Pull the chest forward, ribs come forward and up. And chest goes back, sink. Chest comes forward and up. Chest goes back, ribs go back. Chest comes forward and up. One more time, chest goes back. Chest comes forward and up. Push forward and up. Keep this here, keep the chest lifted. Could I, could I have you slide your ribs a little to the right and a little to the left? Slide to the right, chest is lifted, slide to the left. Show me your heart, lift up. Shoulders back a little bit, carry. Yes, and then slide. You got it, and slide. And slide, and slide. Come back to center, relax the ribs. Last thing here, seated. We're gonna, I'm getting warm. So we're gonna go into some breathing into this upper chest. So let's have our hands right here. So here's collarbones, hands are just in the upper chest. Now what this exercise is, is a, it's a breathing exercise, but it's gonna put us into what's called extension, which is a, a lengthening post, uh, that idea of being tall. And we're gonna do it through our breath. So hands here, I'm gonna tell you sideways so maybe you can see. And it's a forced inhalation, and I'm going to inhale into where my hands are. So I'm going to, and then I just relax, okay? So let's just do about five. Forced inhalation to get our, spine, our spines lifted up in this upper back, upper back, upper chest. So here we go. Bring in that breath. Inhale. Hold in. Exhale, let it go. Let the body just kind of melt. Yes. And again, inhale through the nose. Puff up with the breath, and then exhale, let it go. Challenging, right? It's a little challenging, especially if we've been holding our breath a little bit. So let's go. Inhale. And let it go. One more time. Breathe up into your hands. Move your hands with your breath. Forced inhale. Bring it in. Bring it in. Bring it in. Bring it up. And let it go. Relax the arms. Now we did breathing, so that can be a little bit, it can be invigorating, it can bring, especially inhale brings us alert, but it can also bring a little dizzy. So with coming up, just take your time. If you're standing, make sure you feel okay. Um, sometimes breathing can make us just feel a little bit dizzy as well. So we're going to do a little bit of standing uh, hip work and opening up our hip legs a little bit. So you're going to need the chair, I think, um, mostly because it's a little bit of balance. So can we cross the, um, let's do the right leg in front of the left like that. And I'm crossing, sometimes we do this, this, this um, uh, tightrope stance. I'm actually going more across it. So I'm trying to get my right leg to actually cross to the other, to my, across to the left. Okay. Good. All right. And just see if we can do that. And then bring the leg back. And then go the other way. Can I cross over? And then come back. I'm just going to play a little bit, a little pre-stretch. Can I get my foot flat? And then I come back to neutral. Cross over and back. Now we're going to cross over. We're going to stay here. Can I take my, um, this is your right hip. Can you push your right hip a little bit more towards the right? Woo, maybe I slide my right arm up too. And I have to, I'm going to hold on because I'm off balance. I'm purposefully off balance. And just hang there, take a breath into that side, you're opening up. So we have the hip opening, okay, we're pushing the hip out a little bit, and we have the ribs that are opening. And then just come back up. Let's try it again, so make sure you're holding on to something. Slide your right hip out, right hip slides, and then side bend over. 
reach your arm over. Notice how I'm shorter on my left side. And then come back up. Okay, switch your room. Now, we're gonna switch my, our, our chairs or turns turn around on the wall because we need to hold on to the other side. So now your left leg crosses over. Okay. And it doesn't have to be too far over. It can be small, right? It depends on that flexibility. We're gonna get tall, so we wanna be arched. We're gonna lift up. Now this left hip is gonna slide a little bit. Take that left arm up and reach the fingers away to that opposite wall. Can I, reach, can I touch that wall? And then come back up, align the body. Left hip slides, reach away. There we go. Beautiful work. And then bring ourselves up. Okay, gorgeous. Bring the feet back to parallel. I'm gonna let's turn around and face the chair. Or if it's a wall, that's fine. Start to walk your feet back, and we're gonna go into a forward fold with our hands um, either you know on the chair or against the wall. Now let's just let our spines kind of dump first. So let your chest dump, drop your head. Just kind of notice if I let my ribs just kind of fall here, I might feel a lot of kind of pressure around the shoulder. So I want you to lift your ribs up to what you think a neutral is. Let the ribs lift up a little bit. Let the head lift up a little bit. And then can you widen your sits bones? And can you think about um, sliding the ribs up away from the hip so the waistline gets long? You might need to bend the knees. It's totally fine. Take another breath here. Just a long spinal length. I want us to be up out of the shoulders. And then from here, could we bring one hand down to the floor? You might want to bend the knees and then the other hand down to the floor and then hang over the legs. So drop your head. You're in a forward fold. From here, we're going to do a roll up. So you're going to take an inhale. And on the exhale, go slow. We're going to roll up. Take your time. Use your eyes. Curling, stacking the spine. Nice and slow. Feel the spine slowly but surely stack up. Tall. Now we're all the way tall. We're going to hinge up the hips. Pelvis goes back. Hands reach forward towards your chair. You're in a spine. Remember, I'm not dumping here. I'm lifted. Imagine there was a pole on my back. Let me just check you all out. Let's see. You can bend the knees a little bit. Carrie, bend your knees. There you go. And kind of pull yourself away from your arms. Pull back. Good. That's it, Iana. Yep. Beautiful. And yeah, that's good. You're doing good. And then slowly take one hand down to the floor. Other hand down. You might have to bend the knees a lot. That's fine. Let your head hang if you can. Take a breath here in your forward fold. And then on the exhale, we roll ourselves up. Pelvis, what's going to happen? The tailbone's going to drop down. The pubic bone lifts up. And we roll. Take your time. Use your eyes. See where you are. And then all the way up. We'll do this just one more time. So I hinge at the pelvis. Hands come forward onto the chair. And now make sure you're getting a good stretch. So I might walk myself back. I scooch myself. My ribs go long. My ribs maybe widen. Shoulders can slide up to the ears a little bit. That's fine. You want to feel the stretch along the back, also through the legs. Take a nice big, one more breath here. And then bring one hand down to the floor, the other hand down to the floor. Bend the knees as you need to. Take an inhale. And on the exhale, we curl up. Curl tailbone down to the floor. Stack in the spine. Nice and tall. All the way up. Good. Face forward. Still want your balance, your chair nearby, but let's bring our hands here. And we're just going to do a little touch. Opposite arm to leg. Now, if that's too much, you can just, you know, do so. Keep holding on with one hand. Or if you can, I'd love a little touch and go. Right to left, left to right. Feel that weight shift. Notice how, oh, I have to stand on one leg. And then maybe look at, now can we take our eyes? Oh, I'm going to touch my knee. Oh, we'll touch my knee and see your knee as you touch it. Hand to knee. Look and see. Yep. One more each side. Looks great. 
And then can we go across? Elbow, elbow, and it may not touch. We're gonna just see. Yep, elbow to knee. Good work. Feel how the core works a little bit here to help you come across. One more side. You guys doing great. Good, back to center. Feet a little wider, make sure you're not gonna hit your, um, your chair. We're gonna do some, so knees might soften if we're tight in our hips. We're gonna imagine we have a big hula hoop and we're gonna start to, that is on the floor and we're gonna trace this hula hoop with our hips. Now, if it's too, if like that's, that's a too big of a hula hoop, guess what? You could have a smaller hula hoop. And, but can we trace those kind of the edges of this hula hoop? And if also if my hips are tight, I might bend my knees a little bit, but you're leading with the, the pelvis. Okay, nice circular motions. Circular motions. See that circle of the hips, kind of feel it. Notice where the sticky areas are. Can we go the other way? Carving out. Is this direction harder? Does it feel more like a square? Lead with the hips. Notice where the head is. My body is going to be working in a little bit. It's hard to think about it, but it's a little bit opposition. So as my hips go one, you know, as my pelvis goes back, my head's going slightly forward. Don't go into it. Yep, that's better. Good. And then come back to center. Soften the knees. Long spine, can we curl tailbone under? Can we tip tailbone back? Can I curl tailbone under? Can I keep tall? Can I find my breath? It's an exhale as the pelvis comes under. It's an, in uh, it's an inhale as I tip back. Exhale under. Can we feel that little bit of nice stretch through the low back? Can I feel my low abs as the pelvis comes under me? Two more times. under and then back and then let's go nice tall spine take your arms out to a T position palms are facing forward could I reach could I slightly reach back behind me could I take my arms back there somewhere maybe I flex my fingers and then could I bring my arms back up could I take my arms slightly behind me and go back behind me flex your fingers so finding the back space, see if I can feel my back and then come up. You also get a stretch through the arms and go back behind you. Chest might open, that's it. Come back up. Let's go back. Now here, could we make a little fist? Could I turn my arms in and then externally rotate? So I'm internally rotating my arms. I'm externally rotating my arms. Now everyone's doing good, but can we all get our arms slightly behind us? and a little closer to the body. So the arms are slightly behind you. Yes, that's it. And then we're gonna internally rotate the arm bones, and then we externally rotate. Yep, from the upper arm, could we internally rotate? Could we externally rotate? Better, one more, internal and external, and then bring the arms to your side, stretch up to the sky. Reach back behind you, big circles around the gun. Come up, inhale. Circle back, touch the back space. As I come up, my arm, my palms are facing in. As I go back, my palms start to face back behind me. Okay, inhale, palms face in. Exhale, they circle back around. Can you keep your ribs easy? One more time, inhale, arms. Exhale, arms go back. Good, rest. Feet a little wider. Okay, you can use your chair if you'd like, if you need a little hold on to something. We're gonna bend the knees forward, sit back as if they were sitting back in our chair, but it's not there. Notice the angle of my spine. I'm not hinging directly over, I'm in a, a diagonal. So my pelvis gets to lower, but my spine is a diagonal. All right, and then just feel your feet on the ground. Where are the eyes? Could my eyes be slightly forward and slightly up? And then I'm gonna stand up, I'm pushing the ground away. I wanna bring my pelvis my sits bones on top of my heels. Okay, so my pelvis kind of comes forward. Then I'm gonna release my hips back and down. Sits bones go wide. Can I feel the right leg? Can I feel my left leg? And I'm gonna push the ground away, bring my pelvis, my sits bones on top of my feet. And I go back. Sits bones go back, release your pelvis back. And then push the ground away. Feel how the pelvis comes on top of your feet. 
And sits bones go back and down. Push the ground away. Feel that ground force helping you stand up. And pelvis is on top of the feet. A couple more. Inhale. Release the pelvis back. Exhale. Push. Bring your pelvis on top of your feet. That's it. And go back one more time. And come on up. Good. Bring your feet. We have one more exercise here. Bring your feet a little closer together. You're going to stand on your right leg. Bring your left leg forward. So hips are staying squared. Body's staying tall. I might want to hold on. My right leg, uh, my left leg is going to circle around. Stay straight. My leg's going to stay straight. It's going to go back behind me. And my toes are going to touch my back heel. I'm going to come back around to the front. And my heel is going to touch my toes. And I'm going to go around, making a half circle. And I come forward. I'm going to go around, reach. And I'm going to come forward. Keep your leg long. Reach around, keep the pelvis still. And forward. Half circle around, last one. This time when you bring that leg forward, it's going to step down in front of you. It stays there. Now my weight is going to be a little more, well, a lot more, on my, my uh, left leg. Back leg goes back behind me. It's going to circle around and comes forward. Reach your leg long. The right leg is now straight and forward. If I need to hold on, I can. Feel that tall spine. Feel that cir half circular uh, motion of the thigh bone. Okay, we go back, the toes touch the heel. We come forward, the heel touches the toes. You got it, couple more. So we have some work on a standing leg. We have some mobility happening on our moving leg and then stability happening in the torso. Lots of things. Last one. Take it back, take it forward, and you're gonna place it down. You're imagining you're on a tightrope, and we're gonna walk forward on the tightrope, heel to toe. Walk it forward, hands can go out to the sides. Stay on that little tightrope as you go forward. Yes, and then can you walk backwards on the tightrope? <laughs> Maybe. You might need your arms out a little bit. Woo. Can I find my heel? Nice, one more step back, make sure nothing's back there. And then find neutrals. Woo. All right, let's go to the ground. I would like to do a little bit of um, forearm. Let's, how are we feeling? Give me just a thumbs up. I wanna know because I have options, but how are hands and wrists for people? We did a little warm up for that, but how are they, if we were gonna load them, does that feel like something we all can do a little bit? Hands and knees, yeah? Okay, if you, and because there's variations, but I want to try a little bit of loading for the upper body, um, if that's available. So let's go, if not, please let me know, all right? Um, so bring your hands under your shoulders, just like we were when we were seated and we were pushing forward with our hand. I want you to feel that here, okay? So I'm, at, I'm pushing the ground away. So my arms are gonna be locked. My elbows are locked, they're not gonna bend. And now I'm gonna see, could I draw both my shoulders into my back? This is, and then could I push my shoulder blades wide? Could I slide my shoulder blades in? And could I push them wide? Eyes are slightly forward. Could I slide my shoulders in? And could I push them wide? Let me watch a few. This is challenging, but really important work. Let's see, arms stay locked. Try not to drop the head too much. It'll go a little bit. Adam, but less head, more shoulders. Oh, tricky, but not those elbows. <laughs> and go ahead, a few of you, just let your elbows bend and let the shoulders come in. See what that feels like, just so you can feel both. So let the elbows bend a little bit and come in, almost like a push-up, right? And then go straight with the elbows, straight with the arms. And now try with not, don't bend the elbows and try a few. Oh, there we go, that helped. So shoulders slide in, they hug the back, and then they go wide. All right, that's enough. Let's push wide with the shoulders. Wide with the shoulders. Awareness on your pelvis. Could I curl my pelvis under me? And then could I take my pelvis up and back? It's that pelvic curl we just did standing, but here, can I curl my tailbone under me? Whoa, there's my low abs. And then could I take my tailbone up and back? Could I find my pelvis curled and under? Take it back. One more time, curl tailbone under, and then take it back. Long spine, 
Take your right hand, place it in front of your left fingers. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go sideways so you can see. So right hand in front of left fingers, slide pelvis back. I'm holding on to the ground. I don't wanna let, I don't really wanna slide back. My hands are pressing into the floor so I get a little stretch in my right shoulder, right rib. And then I'm gonna come forward and I'm gonna go forward over my hands a little bit and load those arms. And then slide back away from your hands. Come forward on top of the hands. Slide back away from your hands. Doesn't have to be very low, you can stay high. You'll play, you'll notice, if I stay higher, I get a little bit of a different stretch. Let's do one more. Sliding back. Sliding forward. Come back to center. Left hand comes in front of left, um, right fingers. Press the ground away, slide back. Slide forward. Slide it back. Feel the shoulders open. Slide it forward. Slide back. Slide forward. You have one more. Slide back. And then slide forward. Come back to parallel. You're going to start to come up to fingertips. Take one hand forward, other hand forward. Slide pelvis up and back and drop your forehead to the ground. If that's too much on anyone's shoulders, you just slide back a little more and you can bring your palms down. Because by lifting the palms up and being up on our fingertips, it's gonna be a little more now in the shoulders. And if you could let your forehead drop, you're feeling in that mid back. The more forward you are, the more intense. So you can always slide the hips back a little bit. Let's just take a big inhale into this upper back. So take a big inhale into your upper back. And then exhale, let it soften. And then everybody come back towards your hips. Let's roll up to a high kneeling. Rolling up slowly to a high kneeling position. Now, once we get up here, I want to make sure that we have padding under our knees, okay? Do we have some knees? Um, we want to make sure we have good padding. So make sure you have that, either a blanket or fold your mat. I'm going to try a lunge today, a low lunge, okay? So we're going to step the right foot forward. Make sure you have pattern on your knees if you feel any discomfort there. My front knee is over my front ankle, and I have space here to move. I'm not super close. If you need to hold on to something because it is a little balanced, make sure you do that, okay? So all I want to do here, we're going to do a simple hip stretch. I'm going to curl my pelvis under me, and I'm going to grow tall. I'm going to lengthen that spine. Now, when I get spinal lengthening, I already feel a little opening here, and you might too, right? As you lengthen the spine up, do we feel a little opening already? No? Yes. Thanks, Gary. And then I'm going to slide that. I'm going to try to keep lifted. Could I slide a little forward? Woo, I don't have to go very far, right, for this type of stretch. And then I come back. So you get to, you get to play with your body here. You get to lengthen up and slide forward. Try to keep length. That's our goal for this one. And then I push with my front leg and I come back. Good. Let's try two more. Lifting up, slide forward. Yes, and come back. Little tailbone, get tall, slide forward. Beautiful, and come back. Bring the leg back. Beautiful, let's go the other side. So you step the other foot forward, Make sure my ankle, knee and ankle are aligned to start. I have space to move. First things first, we're going to lift the front of the hip bones up. Woo, this side's tighter for me. So I want to feel my hip bones lift up the front. That's that pelvic tilt. And then I want to grow tall. I'm going to imagine I could lengthen my spine a little taller. With that, all those things in place, we slide forward. We push from the front leg to come back. It's small, it's subtle, but it's deep. We slide forward. It's not really, it feels like the whole legs, but it's a smaller motion maybe, right? We might feel like I could really go into this, but we're going to go in a little, so we stay out of that low back and stay in our hips. One more time. We lift up through the pelvis, lift up through the spine. You got it. Yes. And then come back. Good. Let's go back to high kneeling. 
arms out to your sides. We're gonna slide like seaweed. The ribs go one way, I reach through my fingers, slide like seaweed the other way. Slide and slide. Can I feel my ribs like someone took my shirt and they pulled me over there and then I pulled me over here. Yep, seaweed arms, like you were in the ocean. One more each way, move those ribs as best you can. Good, come back to center, arms reach up. We're gonna dive down, reach up, inhale. Exhale, dive, round, as if you were gonna go over a big beach ball. That's where I have a theme going, at the beach. Over, 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 all the way to your hands meet the floor, and then light, long spine, give me an arch. Tailbone lifts, heart reaches forward. That's it. Then we're going to go back the way we came. So we're going to exhale, curl tailbone. That's what I need, my abs. I'm going to pull myself back up. Keep your arms by your ears. If you can, come all the way back up to that high knee line. We did it. Let's do two more. Inhale. Exhale, round. Look where you're going. Can I scoop out my middle? There's a moment when I want to fall, but I'm going to try to sustain or sustain myself for a moment or suspend and then <laughs> and sustain and then inhale and you go into your arch, tailbone lifts, heart lifts. Exhale, curl. Hollow out the middle, round up. Arms come by your ears. Inhale, grow tall on a C. Exhale, we dive. Dive down. Down you go, up and over this imaginary beach ball, over, 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 all the way to the ground, beautiful. Let me see that arch. And then neutral, and let's come to seated, okay? Shift to a seated position. Yep. Feet are gonna be wide. We're gonna do just a little bit of rotation and, and hip work here. So a leg's about as wide as your mat, okay? Hands are slightly behind you. Take your legs to the right. Let them fall to the right. Now that, that left arm is gonna come around and I'm gonna reach, follow my fingers, and I'm gonna reach out on this diagonal, on that right diagonal, and reach, and rotate. I'm gonna come back through center. Arm comes back, legs come back. Go all the way over to the other side. Right arm slices through the air, and right arm is going to reach, and it's going to reach away on a diagonal. I'm going to push with my left hand a little bit, and I'm reaching on this diagonal. I come back, slice through the air. Let's go to the other side. Legs, arm, reach. Stretch on that, in that, into that abyss. Reaching, reaching, reaching. Feel how the ribs rotate. And come back through center, legs come back, legs go the other way, arm comes around, slices through the air and reach on the diagonal, stretch away. The hand that's on the floor kind of pushes the floor away and you're reaching and then come back through center, find neutral, hands come behind the legs, bring your chest up, fill it up, find that inhale into your chest. Take a big inhale through the nose. Puff up the chest, exhale, curl pelvis, round back. Hang off your legs, rise on the belly. I'm hanging away from my arms, I'm hanging off my legs. And then we're gonna inhale, come up tall. Inhale, come tall. Breathe up into your chest. Exhale, round back. Hang off the legs, rise on the belly. Ribs sink back. Inhale, bring yourself up. Inhale through the nose, fill up your chest. Exhale, back. Last time, inhale, bring it up. Exhale, release it back. Let's keep going all the way back to the floor. All the way down. You can guide yourself with your hands. Bring one leg into your chest, bring the other leg into your chest, one hand on each knee, give me a few knee circles here. 
just stirring your, your legs in the pelvis. So individual knee circles. So one hand on each knee. There you go. Bring them in and open up. And then down and in together. So they come, both legs come into the chest. They open wide. Separate the legs. There you go. Go down and in. So like... There you go. Yes. That's it. And then change direction. Two more this, this whichever way you're going. And then give yourself one more hug. Pull the knees in. A little rock side to side. A little breath. And then release. Roll to either side. Find a little seat. So you could be high kneeling. You could decide to come back up to your chair, or you could be low kneeling. Do whatever is comfortable. We're going to end with one with a little eye massage. So closing the eyes, hands. This now this will make us feel a little sleepy. So we'll do one more thing after. But fingertips on the eyes, and just give yourself a little circular massage on top of the eyes. It's very relaxing. Release any extra tension here. A little circular dime size pressure on top of the eyelids, right? Eyes are closed. And we're massaging on top of the eyelids. Get that bow underneath the eyebrow. Feel that, get a little massage there. And let's go under the eyes as well. And then that bone under the eyes. And then a little bit of temples. Okay, and then open the eyes. Let's tap the face a little bit. Tapping all along the bones of the face. Taking some breaths here. Feeling heat in the face. And pull on the ears, pull down. Pull out. Pull up. One more time, pull down. Pull out. Pull up, shake your hands, and we're done. <laughs> Good work. Very nice. Have a wonderful weekend. It's almost the weekend. We're almost there. Adam, you made it. You did the class. Yeah, it was uh, it was quick delivery. Pretty quick. Awesome. <laughs> That's always nice. All right, everyone. Thank you so much.